can be a great source for vector brushes in Illustrator. Now I'm going to show it in CS5, same approach can be used for CS4, CS3, PC or Mac. Now file, place and I'm just going to place, I'm going to select one of the swirl designs, they're from graphicextras.com but you can use any other PDF documents as well. So I'm just going to select one of these designs, click there, place, yeah, click OK. Now, just going to resize that quickly, and I'm going to select the embed. So once I've embedded it, I'm actually going to go into the isolation mode now. I'm just going to double click on the document, this actual PDF design, because you can't. I'm just going to double click on it down to the actual PDF document. So I've actually gone through all the various groups and just going to select that bit and I'm going to drag that to the brushes palette. Now if you haven't got the brushes palette open just go to window and brushes but I have there so I can drag it over simply set it as scatter brush click OK set all the settings you want like method, colorization, size click OK and I'm just going to now go out of the isolation mode. So just go up the layers again, up the levels. Just going to get rid of that. Select a brush in Illustrator and just quickly paint. And now the PDF document is turned into an Illustrator brush.